owe you Nigerians. I deliver you from the bad I deliver you from the poverty. I deliver you from sufferings. That's how Nigerian thoughts. God will deliver Nigeria. God will just come and say, I deliver you. Stand up. This <laughs> oh my God. Church is too plenty. You must now be that one. Guys, we never ready. I swear. Nobody don't ready to make change in Nigeria. Because the only way I know that Nigeria can even have chance of changing is if everybody you see it's very high because nigerians are too stubborn nigerians are just too stubborn they cannot before this will happen maybe an angel will come down from heaven and touch everyone's up because the only way let me say it for the only way is if everybody everybody i don't care if it's military uh, police and uh, civil servant everybody in this nigeria should go on strike and i don't mean strike that let me say we give you 20 days can you we should declare state of emergency ourselves. Citizen state of you know that kind of thing. Like wait, nobody will go to work, nobody will sell anything, nobody, people will just be helping themselves in the community, probably giving some people that does not have food food. And the whole nation will go on strike. That's the only way I know. If we do that, Nigeria will be on the standstill. Like nothing will work. No but <laughs> imagine because I've thought about it. If you think about uh buying all the leaders, like some people will say, it's not possible because the leader self knows that you won't buy them, so they won't they won't work. At the places that you will see them, like they will not even gather at some place because you know that country that the people are saying the solution is to uh, they play that one will happen. Another thing is uh, revolt all these protests. Like let's protest. Uh, you see when you are protesting, some people are working. As you now they protest, they risk their life for the country. Some people are just looking at you and saying, oh, look at this one. But me, I shall, I shall go to work like that. I should be making some money like that. Not everybody. So others are jeopardizing the protesters' work. So protests cannot work in Nigeria. Because unless everybody come out, unless everybody, every single soul, nothing works like that's the only way I know. Apart from that, forget this thing. And if you know how Nigeria has been deteriorated, like I mean Nigeria, sorry, sorry, but if you know how Nigeria has been deteriorated, like deteriorating every day, they are actively working to jeopardize Nigeria. Working actively to jeopardize Nigeria. And Citizens are just sitting and clamoring and shouting, oh, eh, this leader, this, this thing. Without sacrificing anything, everybody has to sacrifice something. Fight for your country. You don't feel like saying, I'm not living there again. But see, Nigeria can work without unanimous effort. Everybody. Without that, you see that for you, still going to 10,000 per liter, and Gary will be 5,000 per cup. Because the government will keep. It, you don't talk like as if they are testing us deliberately, like, let's give them one five. Like, let's say, let's say it's one five. Let's say it's 2,000. Oh, they're not doing anything. It's only some people that are trying to. Let's increase it. <laughs> Until Bobby's kid on president, I'll be the chicken. And <laughs> see, I rest my case. <laughs>